Friday morning, this is Trev and this is Jack 3 chilling and relaxing you, of course. I'm looking ahead of the songs, got some terrific music coming up. Um, and we are, of course, on a special this week between 10 and 11 on Jack 3 on DAB across Oxfordshire because this is the sixth tent show with Margaret Bowman and we're inviting you to call in and ask Margaret a question. And, and usually what happens, of course, is that I'll, I'll paint a picture for you here in the studio. I know our next caller, and his name is Jonathan, and that's all we know about Jonathan. Margaret has written some notes during that song and, uh, and sometimes involves closing your eyes there, Margaret, and mm-hmm. just, uh, just concentrating on what you can see. And, and we can say hello to Jonathan. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning. How are you, sir? Very well. You're through to Margaret. Margaret, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, yeah. Margaret. You've got an extremely unusual energy field and I've got a feeling that somebody that you knew once is whispering things to you. Now, I don't know whether you realise this or not. It's a lady, right? Right, okay. And um, I've got a feeling that you've got great potential and you need to do some study. Now, I don't know how much study you've already done, but... The study could be overseas. It doesn't have to be here in the UK. But the potential is so high that you could just sail through things. And I don't feel like you've tapped into it yet. Do you know what right. I'm saying? I kind of vaguely... I, I, I think I know... I'm hoping I know what you're talking about, yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I'm past the school age. I'm 45. Oh, but yes. I, I do need to do some work. And I do have, I think, I have some potential. So, yeah, you're bang on the money there, Margaret. Mm, because I think you can actually make quite a lot of money. Well, that's great news. I'll share it about and I'll send you some as well. <laughs> it's always good news when you hear that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's very good news. Yeah, make, make my day. Was there a specific question for Margaret? Yeah, well, it wasn't about me. It's really about my son, George Ainsley. Uh, he's 14 years old. Can I ask a question about somebody yeah, else? Yeah, sure. Brilliant. Yeah, he's an he's a avid footballer. He's 14, nearly 15. He plays for a, a feeder team for Arsenal, so he's got the potential. But he's just discovered the things you can do behind the bike shed, and uh, he's losing his mojo, so to speak. So I want to know, if he works hard, tries hard, practices hard, can he become a successful footballer? Yes, but for the next two years, I'm afraid it's going to be up and down and sideways. Sounds like right, that's okay. what they do behind the bike sheds. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think it might be. But look, you've got the knowledge to just keep him on the, you know, on the flat. Really. Straight and narrow, yeah. Yeah, straight Absolutely. and narrow. And I think you've got to be pretty persistent about it. But yes, he does have great potential and the most amazing f- ankles for some reason. Really? Does he have good ankles to do what he's doing? Yeah, he's good for, yeah, you have to kick the ball, but yeah, he's got long legs and all that, yeah. Are, so are you correct. talking about soccer? Because we really don't follow soccer in Australia. Yeah, it's much, soccer, so. football, football we call it, but soccer, that's correct, yeah, yeah. Now, you know, he's at the age when he's, he's, he can easily go one way, the ladies and all that kind of stuff, or mm-hmm. he can do both, but at the moment he just wants to party, which is unfortunate. Mm-hmm, <laughs> but you, you'll have to put up with that a little bit longer, but I'm going to go to the age of about 17. Mm-hmm. And for some reason or other, I want to say I don't know, I don't know why I want to say it, but I want to say that there could be an offer of some sort of bursary or scholarship. Well, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay. But it's to do with football. It's not to do with schoolwork as such. But I don't yep. know whether they combine it over here. But he certainly will be in the running for it. So well, make that's sure excellent news. that he um, puts his name down when something like that comes up. Because quite often yeah, I will do that. Mm. Okay, so, I, so I, will I think do, he will be. But you're you're going to have to be one of those dads that keeps at him. Yeah, I will. Do. I'll nag him till the end of time. Don't worry about mm. that. Okay. Mm. And uh, well, maybe maybe that offer when he's seventeen will be from, from a better club than Arsenal. Um, <laughs> well, well, that's the thing. He's, he's a Chelsea support. He's a Chelsea supporter. So he's, yeah, he would love to be. Uh, he'll love an alternative team to Arsenal. But we'll see what happens. Well, yeah. actually, in actual fingers. fact, I don't put any of those two near him. Right. And I don't know. Right. I don't know the teams here. Okay, you're so not seeing that at all. No, I'm not seeing either Arsenal or Chelsea. Yeah. But there is something else. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what? There was something else. Is there, is there a colour of a shirt or a name of a something? Uh, no, it'll be another team. But I don't know all the teams in the UK. Sure. You see. And so, do you, okay. Um, do you see a colour with that, Margaret? Because sometimes uh, someone asked us earlier this week, for example, what what ball gown should they wear for an event? I think they're going to tonight, actually. And so. Oh, so, okay. So, yes. No, I've got red. Mm-hmm. Or blue. Okay, 
All right. Red or blue, okay. Which is Arsenal or Chelsea, of course. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Margaret doesn't know that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, no, no. no. I wouldn't have a clue. Um, so, 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 so look, we, we, we wish him well. He's a good little talent then, obviously, but, yeah, really hard when you're 14, you're right in those teenage years. Exactly. Typical teenager, hopefully, by the time he's 17, as Margaret suggested, mm. he'll have settled down a bit. That's safe to say, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, th- I think he can see the road. I think he can see the pathway ahead, but I think he needs something like a bursary to anchor him. And so yeah. this is serious stuff. Okay. Well, that's what actually happens, Margaret. Playing, the the, the academy, you, mm. academy you get signed to, so he'll have to sign something. If he carries on playing football, even semi-professional, professionally, you have to sign something at 17. So you, you were bang on the money there oh, as well, Margaret. Okay. okay. There we go. Yes, well, there you are. So well, you come know on, more Dad. About, you've you got know, to be a dad <laughs> yeah. now. I'm a big, okay. strong dad. <laughs> so I'm be successful with, uh, if I work hard with a very famous son. I'm liking this phone call. Okay. Well, made my well, day. there's more. I told you, there's lots of money coming, so maybe it's hey. him. There, there, there that it is. the case. Yes, I'll be yeah. his manager and take 90%. There you are, see? <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, we appreciate your phone call. Thanks ever so much. No Bye. problem. Have a great day. Thanks, Thanks Margaret. Thanks. Appreciate Bye. it. Take uh, care. You can Bye. call and take part in the Sixth Sense Show, 01865 575 106. What do you think about all this? On Jack 3, here's Barry Manilow.